Hey guys, so last year at some point I did a video where I talked about using the noise removal feature in Audacity to improve the sound quality of really low quality recordings done on really cheap microphones. And today I thought I might show you the same effect but done on a slightly nicer microphone. So I'm using the Handy H1 microphone, uh, which is a, I call it a budget microphone slash sound recorder, but it, it does deliver quite a high quality of sound for the actual amount that you end up paying for it. And I thought that I might try the sound removal feature uh, to try and get rid of some of the ambient noise um, in, in this particular audio recording that I'm going to be demonstrating for you today. Now the background in this particular uh, sound setup is the fan on my PC actually. It's a pretty big fan setup that I've got. So I thought I might uh, do a bit of audio recording and see if I can remove that, uh, that, that buzzing sort of found sound that you get from the uh, the fan. Um, so if I just uh, sort of give you a, an example of what it sounds like just without me speaking over it. So you can kind of hear it, maybe maybe you might need to turn your speakers or your, your headphones up, but um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and get rid of that background noise uh, using Audacity. So Audacity is pretty much the go-to open source sound recording and sound editing uh, software that you can get. Um, so I'm going to just record a slightly sort of basic sentence and then what I'm going to do is um, clean it up a little bit. Uh, you're just using the noise removal feature but I'm going to go into some of the other tools that you can use in Audacity as well. Shut the shutters and sit in the shop. So as you can see there, uh, I've recorded in mono just for the sake of simplicity here, uh, but you can also record in stereo as well. Um, and you can sort of even argue at times that stereo might be a little bit easier because Audacity's got two uh, channels to uh, to work from and, and that kind of helps with the noise cancelling at times. But um, I'm going to just be working with mono today just because it's just easier to visually demonstrate. And also you do tend to use mono when you're just doing um, sort of vanilla voice recording rather than sort of recording music or singing or anything that that sort of um, it would be improved by uh, some kind of sort of audio positioning that's not really necessary in today's video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you the sound but I'm also going to reduce my microphone uh, recording in this video to zero um, just so that you can get the exact um, sound as to what it is that I've just recorded Shut the shutters and sit in the shop. So there you go, you can hear that is exactly what I recorded. And that's actually quite a good quality sound recording considering that this is effectively a budget microphone, but it's just a step up from uh, from some, some of your sort of, uh, you know, your cheap stuff that you might get on eBay. So um, as you can see here, it actually looks quite good on the timeline. Like there is no, it appears to be no background noise being picked up on the uh, on the silent bits. So you can select the silent bits here just to give an example of, of what that might sound like. Obviously, I've just demonstrated it to you. But what you can then do is you can take that sample, that sample of, of background noise, which is why I left such large spaces at the beginning and the end of the recording. And then you can use that to take, as an example, uh, as, an, as a, a sort of an example sample, using the noise removal feature under the effects menu. And then you can click get noise profile. That's all you need to do right at this point. And there you go. Then what you want to do is just deselect everything and then go back to effects, go back to noise removal. And um, you can uh, you can mess around with these settings, but the default settings which I've got here, they tend to work in the majority of cases. Uh, sometimes if the audio recording is particularly bad or in fact, if it's, if it's better than usual, you might want to lower the amount of noise reduction because it does affect the little tones in your voice um, and it does affect the overall quality of the, uh, of the audio recording. But if the quality is worsened by background sounds, then you've got to kind of, you know, strike a balance there. So I've got noise reduction at 24. Uh, sensitivity and this is going to be a preview shut the shutters and sit in the shop so I've also just turned off the uh, narrating microphone just so you could hear that for what exactly it was um, so that sounds pretty good to me 
And there you go. Now, it takes a little bit of time to process if you're doing maybe an hour or two hour long, say, podcast or something, or, you know, narration for a gameplay video. But um, this is, of course, just a pretty much 10 second clip. So uh, let's uh, let's hear it in all its glory. Of course, I'm going to, again, re um, reduce my microphone here just so you can hear it exactly. Shut the shutters and sit in the shop. And I've got to say, I think that came out pretty darn well. The actual voice that uh, that was recorded doesn't seem to be um, sort of changed at all, really. But you can't hear any of my uh, computer's fan in the background, uh, which is uh, which is pretty damn good, actually, as well. Um, so uh, that's just a bit of a tip if you want to just get some uh, get rid of some of the background noise. It actually works um, in some pretty extreme circumstances as well. I've even um, seen people use it to uh, take out parts of songs or or even sometimes take the lyrics out of songs or reduce the volumes of lyrics in songs so you get that kind of um, you know you get like an instrumental piece that can be used for karaoke uh, which is uh, which is another use for it as well you can be quite creative with it so I'll of course link to the video where I did basically the exact same thing but on a much worse quality microphone just to see what you can expect in the worst case scenario um, and uh, I'm going to be doing a few more tutorials on Audacity, sort of experimenting and showing you guys some of the more advanced features like compression and equalizing and all that kind of stuff. This is a very sort of easy to use, but a very, very effective and useful uh, tool that comes with Audacity. And of course, I will put links to how to get Audacity for Windows, Mac and Linux down in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching. That's about it for me today. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.